Hello all, it's your girl Tiffany, Madam Luscious Black Beauty, your poetic psychic Pisces, high priestess. Um, I am here today for another one of my missing mysteries. Oh my gosh, y'all. It is so extra, honey. It's liable to be some smoke in the city after this one. Um, but I do hope each and every one of you are doing well and feeling well on um today. Um, so let me, give me just a second to pull something up for you all, because I like to, um, give you all a visual of who I'm speaking about, okay? So, um, this missing mystery is going to be for... A young lady by the name of Melissa, um, a few, I believe it is. Yeah, it's um, actually her and her mother, Melissa Few and her mother, Amber Ias, as I believe it's pronounced, um, is currently missing. Okay. And give me just a second. I'm going to pull this um, pull this image up for you all. There was a lot, 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 lot of um, information with this reading. That's just kind of oh my gosh, kind of appalling. Um. Oh my goodness, it is interesting. Now, I can't find the young lady. Y'all give me just a second. Okay, guys. So, as I already stated, um, today's missing mystery is for a um, Melissa Fu, uh, Fu, I believe it's called Fu. Okay, this is the young girl here. She was 13 years, old, 13 years old when she went missing. And the picture that you see at the bottom there, that is her mother, okay, who is also missing. Let me show you this. Okay, so this is a little bit closer picture. That is the mother there, okay. Y'all, let me... Um, First of all, let me tell you all something, and this may come off, um, this may rub somebody the wrong way, but if you are American, okay, I'm not speaking to you, okay, um, because we have all kinds of people in the world, period, but specifically we have all different, you know, shades and races of people in the United States. So, if you are American, naturally born American in the United States, regardless to whatever race descent you come from, I'm not speaking to you right now. Now, this um, public disclaimer is more so for the authorities. If you are military, FBI, CIA, just the United States government, period. I need you all to understand something because I've been knowing this for a long time and um, regardless to the sinister things that goes on within our government, I wouldn't say that the people that works for our government are just like complete idiots and stupid. I don't necessarily agree with, you know, a lot of things that they're about and they do, but, you know, I doubt any of them are stupid. So, but from the things that I know and what I've seen go on, it's like either y'all allow it to go on on purpose or it's for a purpose or perhaps y'all don't know. But let me tell y'all something that I knew a long time ago. Now, anybody is welcome to come to the United States if they do so legally and have the proper documentation or whatever. And, you know, most people try to make it seem like if you, you know, that, you know, people from all over come to the United States because this is supposed to be the land of the free, you know, and all of that crap. Look, y'all, let me tell you something. 
and then this goes specifically to the government and it's pertaining to this case I'm saying this for a specific reason okay because I have noticed this for a very long time and I haven't said anything about it as a matter of fact if I was on if I was assistant or on the payroll of a lot of these politicians of a lot of these people working in government I would have told them a long time ago that a lot of people that they're dealing with are spies especially those of them who are foreign if you think that um, Chinese individuals specifically China actually Chinese Russian who who their their native homeland is Chinese China Russia or something and they come over here Re regardless of whether of course they know they got to come over here legally but if you think that they come over here just because this is the land of the free and supposed to be the home of the brave and all no baby no baby they are spies and if you think they yeah they come over here and they may act cool, calm, and collective. They have their jobs. Most people do not know. Like, American citizens got to go through hell and high water to get any kind of grants, loans, or anything to open businesses. But the United States government actually pays foreigners to come to the United States of America. Of course, illegally, but they will literally pay them to come to the United States and open businesses. And I'm talking hella money. Okay, but if you think that these individuals come to the United States because this is just supposed to be the land of the free, that's not the reason, baby. They are collecting data. They are collecting information and they are spies and they're sending it back to their native country where they come from. Okay, these satanic powers that be is all over the world. This ain't just in the United States. I'm telling you, they are spies and they are sending this information back to where they come from. Whatever information, whatever's going on, whatever they see, whatever they find out, whatever they know that is going on in the United States, they are relaying that information back to their native country. Okay? Because the things that I'm about to tell you in this reading about these people is going to blow your freaking mind. And this is a case that is on the FBI's um, website of missing persons. Okay? So, I just wanted to make that disclaimer. And I'm not a racist person, okay? I care for people of all kinds of races. I don't see a certain race. But we have to be realistic when speaking about things that goes on in the world and that is happening and there are a lot of different isolated uh individuals of different races who are racist towards us and some of them are just racist towards americans period some of them are just racist towards brown skinned people or or you know uh or something like that or whatever people are discriminating and have uh racism issues on different levels but i'm telling you because i see it all the time Amongst these, and, and see the problem with the people in power is y'all, y'all shake and move with a lot of snakes. Y'all got snakes in your own swamp. So people that you think that is on your team, um, and you may work with them because you think these are highly knowledgeable individuals, and you may think because they're sold out and a part of the, you know, and they're in, you know, the 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 things that that you are part of. Sure, they take the oaths, they down with the cabal, they, you know. You know, do the rituals, whatever the process is to be in the positions and y'all think y'all good. But more often than not, these are the very people that behind your back, they collecting data. And behind your back on their computer, in a little small computer file, is some called insurance. And they collecting all this data on you just in case they ever get caught up, for one. But also, they are sending that information back to their native countries where they come from, Okay. Just seriously. Also, these individuals that come over here as well, there's a lot of arranged situations and marriages and things like that, okay? Now, everybody knows that the Chinese is in the lead in technology, so I find it very suspicious for people like Zuckerberg to be married to who he's married to and things like that. First of all, that was a arranged situation, and it's no coincidence that he is very knowledgeable in work in technology, but Zuckerberg, I don't, I don't even believe is human, okay? He's not, okay? Um... I've literally seen him shapeshift, you know, but I'm telling you, his wife is a freaking spy. You understand me? Um, and uh, her, her sister is 
part of the cannibal club. Don't get it twisted. So, um, these people send this information back to the native countries. Like, she was literally sent in for Zuckerberg. Why? Because they want China. China is the lead in technology. So, why not send some somebody over here from there to be in this arranged situation, arranged in marriage with somebody like Zuckerberg, who, who is very knowledgeable and, 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 you know, high profile when it comes to technology and, and you know, the programs and the things that they're running online and stuff. Y'all, this is very serious. It's another story for another day, a whole nother video. But I, I've told you all several freaking times. First of all, I know that we have been betrayed and sold out by our own people who are indebted to China. Which is a lot of reason why I think a lot of this stuff is going on. But I, I guarantee you, the United Nations, no. The United States, no. And, and 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 a lot of this stuff has been going on for a reason. There's a major, major catastrophic event that is coming that is going to kill off a lot of American citizens. And right after that, we will be infiltrated by a foreign entity. And I guarantee you, it's going to be none other than China. Nevertheless, I'm going to get into this reading. Like I said, this reading is for Melissa Few, um, as well as her mother. Amber Ayaz, Ayaz. Um, <clears throat> and it's really funny because the, the mother's last name is, I, I think it's Ayaz, but it's spelled A-I-A-Z, you know what I'm saying, A-I, artificial intelligence, like, y'all, I'm telling y'all, it's something very suspect with these people, I'm telling you, um, and, uh, this has a lot to do with what I was just explaining to you. So, FBI, y'all need to listen closely. You understand me? Maybe the military needs to even listen closely. But I don't, I don't, so, because what's going on and, and what I know that has happened as far as this, this collusion with the United States and China and all this other kind of stuff, if y'all are aware this is going on or if this is going on under the radar and y'all not sure that um, China, China has, it's, look, China basically owns the United States. China infiltrated the United States a long time ago, whether the United States actually know it or not. And this is the reason why a lot of their people are over here. And if you think these people are over here just because this is the land of the free and they have a better opportunity and they can make a whole lot of money, them people already got money. They come over here with money. And then the United States paid them even more money for coming over here and opening businesses. If you do not notice, most of the individual, and I'm not talking about Asian American people. If you were born in the United States and you're Asian American, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking about uh, full uh, blood bred foreigners from somewhere else that comes over here uh, legally or... or uh, with them being the lead in technology, and they literally can create anything. They make anything over there. So they can make very fraudulent uh, identifications and everything to make them appear as real. To make you think that these people are coming over here legally. Okay? And just as just as sure as you can see, you see them come over here and may see what they are doing. They can vanish like ninjas on your ass. And everybody know the ninjas come from China. Okay? Them people, I, I ain't calling the Chinese dumb because that they are not. They are not only the lead in technology, but the Chinese know a lot of shit. I'm talking about healing tactics, techniques, and everything. And I swear to God, they can disappear on your ass like a ninja. Okay? Like, I'm telling you. It is so serious what is happening here. So, I'm going to go ahead and start um, this reading. But... And, and, and the crazy thing, real quick, y'all, the crazy thing about this the most, because of the fact that we have already been infiltrated by the Chinese, they already got their people over here. The Chinese, if you look at, first of all, just about everything in everybody's house, say it was made from China, Taiwan, or something somewhere, which lets you know, they control and create a whole lot of stuff. A lot of the devices that you use in different things was made by them, controlled by them. If you were able, you know how to code, you know how to um, look on the, 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 the back end of things, almost like back masking something, 
I guarantee you will see a sequence of Chinese lettering and encoding and things and it links back to them. A lot of these apps and programs and things that you get on online, it is run by the Chinese. Okay? It is run by the Chinese and all of the data is going to them. The Chinese been been in control of the United States. They just ain't sent their soldiers and they ninjas. And I'm telling you, when I look, look, the Chinese military alone is probably about 10 times ours. Okay? That's just a military. And on top of that, they have ninjas. They have real ninjas. I'm not making this up. I'm talking like real ninjas. Do you understand me? And all other kind of people, they are like experts in like jujitsu and, and all kinds of other stuff. Do you understand me? They can send some of any and everybody over here. But the fact of the matter is, is they already have people here that is sending um, um, information back to their homeland, to the powers that be in their homeland. So when this go, when, when, when the major events go down, they already have infiltrators here. Because they already have spies here. Whew. I'm trying to tell y'all what God love. Y'all y'all gonna learn. Somebody gonna tell the truth in a minute, honey. But I'm telling y'all the truth. Y'all don't wanna listen to me. Y'all stay trying to sleep on me, child. But I'm trying to tell you what to know. I'm trying to tell you what to know. And what I know for sure. If you got the money uh, to get the hell up back to the United States. It would be very wise, honey. Because uh, something about to go down. And I mean soon. On our soil. See y'all so used to uh, uh, the United States standing before the people declaring war on, in somebody else's country. On somebody else's land baby. It's about to go down. On our soil. Before long. I ain't got no reason to lie to you. Okay. But I'm getting to this reading. So um, Melissa Few. Um, is, uh, is currently missing. As well as her mother. Amber IS, okay? So the date that um, they were missing was um, November 22nd of 2019. The town that they are missing from is Irvine, California. Uh, Melissa's date of birth is unknown. Her place of birth is unknown. I'm telling you because that information is hidden. Her place of birth is China, okay? But I, I'm going to get more into that because... That girl is not who they said she is, nor is the mother who she said she is. This is how they sent them over here. I'm trying to tell you. I got the tea. Wait a minute. Um, Melissa is said to have been 5'11", 5 foot, um, 5 foot, um, inches, uh, 5 foot tall, 11 inches, excuse me. She is said to have weighed 200 pounds. I think that is like very heavy for a 13 year old, but you know, hey, whatever. Um... And she is said to have been 13 when she went missing, which I don't understand how you know somebody's 13, but you don't know their birthday. Okay, but we're going to keep it moving. Um, her hair is dark brown. Her eyes is brown. Her race is Asian. The scars and the marks on her body is none or either unknown. Like I said, she was said to be 13 when she went missing. Now, let me tell you something. Her sex is down as female. She is not. Understand that. I knew it when I looked at her. My spirit guys tell me, and I, I, I clear. I knew it when I looked at her, but I, I clarified it with my spirit guys. Melissa Few is a boy that was transformed into a girl. Okay. But the FBI on their site has her listed as a girl because this this is I, I suppose this is what her appearance was or, or who she was when she's here. But my spirit guys tell me that she's in fact a boy who was transformed into a girl. Um so the remarks pertaining to this situation is as follows. Melissa Few was last seen wearing a black tracksuit. That's like all the remarks that were stated. Um, before their disappearance, okay, and the situation pertaining to Melissa Few and her supposed mother 
Amber Is, and I'm I'm gonna tell you why I keep saying supposed mother. Um, in just a minute, but as far as the United States know, Amber Is was supposed to be her mother, and Melissa Few was supposed to be the daughter. Okay, but this is the situation. Melissa Few and her mother, Amber Is, were last seen on Friday, November 22nd, 2019, at approximately 6 p.m. at their residence located in the area of um, Michelson Drive and University Drive in Irvine, California. There are suspicious circumstances surrounding their disappearance and two people seen in the vicinity of their residence near the time of their disappearance are being sought for questioning. The unknown individuals are possibly associated um, with a black Cadillac unknown model. They are described as follows. The two individuals that were seen in the vicinity of um, the residence of Melissa Few and Amber Ayes um, is a Chinese female in her 40s, approximately 5'8", with an average build and, um, and black hair worn in a bun. Also, there was a Chinese man in his 40s, approximately 5'10", weighing 190 pounds with an average build and short black hair. Now, you guys, I did a spirit reading for these individuals and I'm going to get right into it because there's a lot of information pertaining to the situation okay first and foremost I had to I had to go off I asked some very general questions to kind of get the reading going to figure out you know what else I needed to ask my spirit guys as far as what was happening so I started off the reading with asking my spirit guys is Melissa Few still alive my spirit guys tell me no I asked my spirit guys is Amber Is still alive my spirit guys tell me yes I asked my spirit guys were the strange Chinese suspects seen in the vicinity of the missing persons home involved in their disappearance um this is a yes and a no. They were not directly involved in what happened to Melissa, but they are directly involved with Amber Ayes. Okay? I asked my spirit guys, has Melissa Few been hurt or harmed in any way? My spirit guys tell me yes. I asked my spirit guys, has Amber Ayes been hurt or harmed in any way? My spirit guys tell me no. I asked my spirit guides, was there some kind of immigration problem concerning Melissa Few and Amber Ayes um, concerning, you know, the United States? Did they have a problem with their immigration um, within the United States? My spirit guides tell me no. I asked my spirit guides, is Melissa Few still in Irvine, uh, California? Um, uh, my spirit guides tell me no. Um, she is, but she isn't. Like, she was, but... Um, she, she no longer is at this point in time, and I'm going to tell you why. I asked my spirit guys, is Amber Is still in Irvine, California? My spirit guys tell me yes. I asked my spirit guys, are Melissa and Amber victims of human sex trafficking? Um, this is a yes and a no. Um, Melissa Few is a victim of human sex trafficking but they're not victims of human sex trafficking pertaining to the situation at hand why they went missing as far as the case in the united states melissa few was human sex trafficked from chinese from china to the united states so before they got here she was a human she was she was she was she was sex trafficked from china to the United States okay but the situation pertaining to what we're talking about right now is not a situation of a human sex trafficking so I hope that makes sense it'll make sense in a minute when I tell you the other information I'm telling you is some very creepy shit with this whole situation so the people in power people in authority y'all need to listen because I'm telling you it's a lot more of this crap that is going on in the US right now um, I asked my spirit guys, is the government involved in the disappearance of Melissa Few and Amber 
Ah, yes. My spirit guides tell me this is a yes and a no. The United States government, okay? The United States government is not involved in the disappearance of Melissa Few and Amber Ayas. However, the Chinese government is. Okay? I asked my spirit guides, did the suspicious Chinese persons spotted, um, uh, did the, excuse me, did the suspicious persons or Chinese persons that were spotted around the residence of Melissa Few and Amber Ayas visit the home of Melissa and Amber on the day that they disappeared? My spirit guides tell me yes. So the two Chinese individuals, the man and the woman that was seen in the vicinity of their residence did in fact visit Melissa Few and Amber Ayas' home on that day. So they in fact did know them, okay? Um, my spirit guides tell me that Melissa Few, um, mother is the one who murdered her. So, um, so basically my spirit guides is telling me that Melissa Few is missing because she was murdered, number one. Number two, um, like I told you, Amber Is is actually still alive, but Amber is the one who killed Melissa, okay? My spirit guides tell me that the Chinese individuals spotted, um, they were not directly related in the murder of Melissa. However, they do know about it, and they know... Um, they are covering it up for Amber. And I'm going to tell you more about that. Um, my spirit guys told me that the Chinese individuals spotted were friends of Amber Ayas. Okay. Also, my spirit guys let me know that Melissa Few wasn't, um, or she, she, she was no longer alive uh, at the time of the visit from those Chinese persons that came to visit Amber Ayas. Melissa, so, okay, so the statement says that Melissa and Amber were seen prior, like earlier in that day, like they said around 6 p.m., okay? The Chinese individuals that visited their home, visited their home sometime after that time, okay? By that time, Melissa was no longer alive, my spirit guides are telling me, um, or, or, or something Something was done to Melissa between that time when they were last seen and when um, the Chinese individuals that visited their home was seen, okay? Um, my spirit guys tell me that Amber Ayas left because she had killed her daughter. So this is the reason why Amber Ayas um, left her residence, left the area, um, and, and disappeared herself. It is because of the fact that she had killed Melissa Few, okay? My spirit guides also tell me that Amber Ayas changed her identity when she left. This is the reason why she can't be found right now. But she is actually still in the same area. She's actually still in Irvine, California, but she has completely changed her identity. So she has changed her hair color, her eye color. She's changed her first and last name. Um... And everything and the the uh, the the Chinese satanic powers that be the Chinese government um, those that they know in power helps her to do this um, my spirit guys tell me that Amber Ayas which is supposed to be the mother of Melissa few um, disposed of her daughter's body in the trash okay um, my spirit guides tell me that Melissa Few and her mother, Amber Ayas, lived in an apartment complex. So, um, um, Melissa's body was, was put in the dumpster of the trash. of the, the She was put in the dumpster that was at the apartment complex in which that they lived in. Um, my spirit guides tell me that Amber um, Ayas killed her daughter because she was mad at her. And... It, it, she was specifically mad at Melissa Few for talking to, dating, having sex with black a black or, or dating a black guy. Um, actually, multiple of them. Um, the Chinese people. I didn't find out until recently, like when COVID, like after COVID uh, started happened and everything like that or whatever. I never knew that the Chinese was racist against black people. But when, um, if people can remember, 
Um, I remember seeing things because I was watching stuff as like how they were treating their people down there. Like they like beat these people and just like they they treat their people like so awful. But I remember seeing these videos because it was like a it's like a McDonald's something like a McDonald's um, there and like a lot of their businesses had put up signs saying no blacks allowed. As if black people was the one who was spreading this virus. Remind you, it came from Wuhan, according to what we were told, okay? This didn't come, like, at what point did this become a black person's disease that the black people were spreading? And so, this was the first time that I ever even knew that, um black or that you know black people was racially discriminated against by the Chinese like I never knew this like most of the time when, when people speak of racism or like people being racist against black people most people think it's just white and black but there has been this alliance I realized there's been this alliance between other cultures of people from like white people to maybe Chinese people Russian people Korean, like all kinds of people other places who are actually in fact racist against black people and this is like the one thing that they have all come together in agreements about that they want to destroy the black race and like I did not know this until when you know the whole pandemic crap started and I was seeing that and I was like wow really and I like I, I never knew that and, and, and it appalled me because why when these people come to the United States they make them they make their fortune off of black people okay their nail shops their 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 uh, their urban shops that sell our type of clothes and attire that they don't even wear their rest Chinese restaurants are all in urban neighborhoods they make their money off of African American people and y'all are prejudiced towards African American people so like this blew my mind but I say all of this to say that Amber Ayaz was upset, was mad, like very furious mad with um, with Melissa because their culture of people, they don't like to, and I guess it's their culture as well as whatever religious beliefs they have, they are like very, like they will disown their people. I mean like to the point of like, you know, some radical religions and things are like that. Like, you know, if, if you don't stay within your bloodline, within your culture and things like that, um, they will seriously harm you or like, you know, excommunicate you or something like that. Kind of like how the, the Amish the Amish people do where they shun you for like going against their rules and regulations of, you know, their belief systems and things. So this was that type of thing. Like Amber Ayas was appalled that she caught Melissa Few talking to black guys and actually with black guys so it wasn't it, it, i'm gonna tell you more in a minute but it wasn't just that she had found out that melissa was talking to black guys and um trying to date black guys it was actually more than that but this made her furious okay oh and that was the problem that was like the main reason why amber is killed melissa few okay um so my spirit guys tell me also that Amber Ayas, she hit her daughter with something. My spirit guys, and I, I instantly seen a vision of this and I said frying pan. Um, and my spirit guys clarified, yes, she repeatedly hit Melissa in the head with a frying pan. And I literally see this black cast iron frying pan. And she like, she like, um, repeatedly, um, you know, battered this this Melissa with this freaking frying pan in the in the freaking head, y'all, until her um her 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 skull was like busted open, like cracked open. Okay, so this was like very repeatedly that she did this, and it it had busted open Melissa's head, and um this is how Melissa died. Okay, this is the, you know her wounds came from her being beat to death with a frying pan. Like this, this chick was like super upset with her. Um, um, and then after she did that, my spirit guides tell me that Melissa's body was dismembered. So Amber Ayas um, uh, dismembered her body. She cut her up into pieces. Okay, and and um, 
Ugh. My spirit guys also tell me that Amber Ayas changed her name um, to Sarah. Okay. Amber Ayas's name is her first name is now Sarah, and she changed her last name to Wong. So it's Sarah Wong. It's the alias that she is going by right now. My spirit guys also tell me that Amber Ayas um, is working in an Asian grocery store or an Asian food store or restaurant type of thing. Um, but I, I specifically got Asian grocery store. Okay. Um, and the, the Asian grocery store is located in Irvine, California. Okay. Um, my spirit guides also tell me that Amber Ayas is currently living with other people um, at the time. So she don't have her own place right now. She is living with other people. Um, um, my spirit guides also tell me that Melissa Few was um, dismembered. Her, her, her dismembered body was put into um, some kind of a suitcase, like a... Like one of those, uh, you know, those, 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 those suitcase bags and it has the wheels on it and the little handle thing and you can roll it. She was put into a suitcase bag like that. That's what I specifically see her being put in. So Amber Ayaz is, Amber Ayaz dismembered Melissa's body and she put the body, her body parts in this suitcase bag and she rolled that suitcase bag out to the dumpster and she threw it in there. Okay. This is very unfortunate because this happened in 2019. So you know that 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 dumpster, you know, the, the, the trash people came through and emptied that dumpster. They do so like every week. Um, so her body is in this suitcase in some landfill somewhere. So this is the reason why Spirit is saying that uh, she was, but she isn't anymore in urban, you know, California because... She was killed in Irvine, California. She was dismembered in Irvine, California. She was thrown in the dumpster in Irvine, California. Well, once from the time that garbage is dumped over into a trash truck, it's like crushed, kind of, and to, to make more room for other trash that they pick up. And then it's taken out to a landfill where it's dumped in this big landfill. And from there, what they do with it or where they send the waste, I don't know. But from there is how she is no longer in Irvine, California. Okay. Um, okay, so my spirit guides tell me that Amber Ayas' job is in a urban area of Irvine, California. So you can find this. Um, it, 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 you, you should be able to pinpoint down. And this is for the authorities. You should be able to pinpoint how many Asian stores or, or you know, like um, Asian grocery stores or Asian restaurants are in um, um, the ur urban area of Irvine, California. Because this is where you will be able to find Amber Is. But like I said, she is going by a different alias and she has changed her, her, her appearance. Um... Um, also, um, and, and, and the reason why I say Asian grocery store, because when my, when I asked my spirit guides about what she working, my spirit guides told me, yes, she was working and she was working for a Asian grocery store. But the people that she is working with also owns a, um, a Chinese restaurant or a Chinese store like that. And they are actually pretty wealthy. They're business owners, and they're very wealthy, okay? Um, okay, so like I said, Amber Ayas' job is in the urban, urban area of Irvine, California. Um, also, um, Amber Ayas is being paid under the table cash, so she's not having to cash a check. Um, so you won't be able to track her like that. She's not, um, you know, she's not filing taxes or anything like that. So you won't be able to track her like that. She's being paid under the table. And this is how she has seemingly, you know, kind of disappeared and gone off the radar. This is why you can't find her. Okay. Um, my spirit guides also tell me that Amber Is is living with the Chinese couple that um, visited her on the day of her disappearance. So the Chinese man and woman that visited her, that is the couple that Amber Ayas is living with right now. This is also um, 
Also, my spirit guides tell me that, that Amber is living with this couple in an upper-class neighborhood that is in Irvine, California, okay? So, um, also, the Chinese couple that Amber Ayas is living with, uh, my spirit guides tell me they are very wealthy. They are business owners. Um, and my spirit guides tell me that this Chinese couple, they own their own um, restaurant, like a Chinese restaurant or Asian food store restaurant or something like that. So this is the reason why I told you to check um, Asian grocery stores and, and as well as Asian restaurants because um, my, my spirit guides told me that, that Mel Melissa is working both. You know, I'm not sure if the the, the 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 Chinese couple that she's living with own both locations, the Asian grocery store and the Asian restaurant. But I spent my spirit guide specifically told me that um Amber Is is working at the um the Asian grocery store, but she's also living with this Chinese couple who owns a Asian restaurant and she is working for them. So I'm, I'm believing that the, the, the Chinese couple actually owns both places and however they want her to work or wherever they want her to work is where they have her working, okay? Um, but the area in which they live in now, the, 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 the Asian grocery stores as well as the Asian restaurant are in urban areas in Irvine, California. But where they reside, where they are living because they're wealthy, <clears throat> excuse me, they are living in a wealthy neighborhood of Irvine, California. Um, so like I said, that uh, Amber Ayas is working for this Chinese couple. Um, and, th and this is how she's getting paid under the table. Um, my spirit guys also tell me that Amber Ayas caught her daughter having sex, okay, with two people at a time. This is what made her over furious. So this is why I said it was more than her just finding out that Melissa was talking to black guys. She literally, she literally, let me show y'all because I'm, I'm going to read y'all the tarot spread that I have here in a minute. She literally caught her. Having a threesome. Okay. You see this page here? That's Melissa. You see the, the three of um the three of cups here. She caught her in a threesome. And the two other people were black guys. And this pissed her off to the max. To the max. And this is the reason why she killed Melissa Few. Um my spirit guides tell me, um, my spirit guides also tell me that there was a male father figure or someone who is in power or authority who told Amber Ayas to kill Melissa Few, okay? This is the person here. Now, this person could be, this person is somebody high up in power, okay? You have a king of swords here, and then you have a emperor. Now, the emperor talks about a, um... Uh, uh, somebody who is in power, somebody who uh, is high ranking, somebody very rich, very powerful, somebody, um, this could also be like a father figure, okay? But um, Amber Ayas contacted somebody in China who is in power, who is a father figure, who is an authoritarian. Um, who told her, you know, she told them about the situation and how upset she was about it and what had happened. And this person, this person is the person who made the decision for Melissa Fuse to be killed and told Amber Ayes to kill Melissa. You see this two of swords here? A decision was made. A bad decision was made to kill Melissa. And they told, and, and, and he told none other than the empress to do this okay the empress is the mother figure okay i'm gonna go through the tarot part of this in a minute but i just wanted to show you how it even came out in the cards um as to what took place so when um amber is caught melissa in this threesome with these black guys um she was furious she was pissed off she was going off and um, she literally went into a rage and like went ballistic on um, on Melissa. 
And so she then she called either Melissa's father who is in China or she called somebody who is high rank and high in power. And I, I don't feel like this was actually Melissa's father. Um, and I'm going to tell you why in just a minute. Because um, like I told you, Melissa is a sex trafficking victim from China. I, I, I'll just go ahead and tell you. Melissa was an orphan. Okay. Melissa was an orphan. Um, and she was trafficked from China. She's a trained spy who was trafficked from China here to the United States. Amber Ayas is not Melissa Q's real mother. Okay. So this person that she contacted in China is somebody somebody who uh, is, is a part of the satanic powers that be. Somebody who is a part of the occult. Somebody who is high up in power. High ranking. And this is who she got her, the, the who made the decision to kill this person, to kill Melissa. And, 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 and Amber Ayas had to follow orders. But I'm, I just went on and told y'all that real quick so it can make sense what I'm trying to say. But I'm going to get into that information in just a minute. Okay, so um, like I said, there was this male... Um, figure, okay, somebody high up in power and authority who told Amber Ayas to kill, um, to, to, to kill Melissa. Okay. My spirit guys tell me that Amber Ayas, um, called Melissa, um, Melissa Fuse, basically the person who was over who was in charge of everything that was going on. Like this person controls Amber Ayas as well as control, controlled Melissa Few. Okay, this person like with the emperor being here, he can be like a father figure, but he's this is just a man who is older. This is a man high up in power, high ranking, in authority. Okay, but he's also probably a father too. He's a father figure, but he is not like blood relation father to Melissa Few. Because like I said, Melissa is an orphan. Like literally an orphan. Um, and he's the one who made the decision. Amber called that person, my spirit guides are saying, she called this person in China about what happened, about her catching Melissa in this threesome with these black guys. And, uh, you know, she was very upset about this. Um, and even though, uh, um, even though Melissa, like I said, she was already human sex trafficked. So she was being pimped out to others, okay? But she was not for black people, if y'all can understand what I mean. She was not supposed to be promiscuous or have sex with black guys. And this in this like infuriated Amber Ayas to the point where she had to call China to, to their leader, to their handler, and tell him what was happening, what was going on. And this person is the one who ordered Amber Ayas to kill Melissa. Okay, so like I said, she called this person about what happened, and he's the one who told Amber to kill Melissa. Um, my spirit guys tell me that Amber Ayas um, and, and, and the people that she is connected with are sellouts to these satanic powers that be. Um, these individuals are from China, though. So, like I tell you, these, 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 these power, these satanic powers that be, the occult. Um, Satanism, um, uh, all the, this stuff is everywhere, okay? Um, and so she's a part of an elite, um, elite structure within China, okay? She was basically assigned, at, Amber Is was basically assigned as a handler for Melissa Is, okay? They came into the United States with fake identifications and fake documentations in order to be here for the specific purpose purpose of trafficking Melissa. Oh gosh, this is a lot guys. Um my spirit guys tell me that Amber IS was paid for sacrificing Melissa. Okay? Um she was paid by higher ups in power um for killing Melissa. Okay, she was Melissa was a blood sacrifice, okay? Um, by the situation that, that, that went on, it, it was just as somebody breaking oaths, um, uh, or going against their, um, their mission. 
and what they were supposed to do while here. Um, and my spirit guides are specifically telling me that that uh, Melissa was trafficked here to to like I said, she is a trained spy. This girl is an orphan, but she was trained as a kid to be a spy. She was also trained as a kid to be a sex slave. Okay, and so she was sold into sex slavery and prostitution. When she was trafficked to the United States, it was to be a spy. It was to collect data on specifically white men. Melissa was being used to get data on white individuals in power, on white men that would have been interested in having sex with her. I'm telling you, there's some cold blooded shit. But excuse my language, y'all, for for y'all. But I'm I'm just telling you, I'm telling you the honest truth. This girl was a spy. She was a trained spy, trained by the Chinese government. She was also trained as a sex slave, and she was picked straight up out the orphanage because she is in fact an orphanage. She was a child that was like given up and was like orphan. Okay. Amber Ayas was Melissa Fuse's handler. And they was they was they were specifically sent to the United States with the purposes of sex slavery. But it was to entrap white men and collect data there of white men and white individuals in power. This is the reason why Amber was so furious. She was not for black people she was specifically for caucasian men or ca ca caucasian individuals in power um my spirit guides tell me that the powers that be are behind um amber is killing um melissa few but this is not United States powers that be because I don't believe the United States even know that they were spies. I don't even know, believe that the United States know that, that they used false documentation that appeared real to be citizens within the United States. I don't believe the United States or the FBI know any of this that I'm telling you. So my spirit guides are telling me that this is the Chinese government's satanic powers that be um, who... who um, who are are behind the uh, Amber Is killing Melissa Few? Okay, um, this is also the Chinese government. The Chinese powers that be are also the ones who help Amber Is change her identity, and you know, and and use her and and you know, as for different services now. Um, my spirit guides tell me that Amber Is um, wasn't like I told you. Amber Is wasn't Melissa Few's real mother. Um, my spirit guides also tell me that Melissa Few was trafficked from China to the United States as a spy and a sex slave. Okay, so um, Melissa Few was a part of a Chinese prostitution ring who was who was also a trained spy and uh, a sex slave who was trafficked to the United States for specifically that reporting back to the Chinese government, United States secrets, information and intel, and to to set up Caucasian white men. Um, so my spirit guides tell me that Melissa Few and Amber Ayas were both trained Chinese spies. So even um, Amber Ayas was a trained spy. Um, Amber Is probably was born into this, was born into the occult. Um, nine times out of ten, Amber Is was, is a trained sex slave as well as, um, as well as, um, she, 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 she endured trauma and sexual abuse and things like that as well. But then she was, she was trained to be used as a handler, spy, Okay. My spirit guides tell me that Melissa Few was really a boy, like I told you all, who was transformed to look like a girl. I'm going to show you all. Everybody, you know, you got to have an eye. 
I can spot them from a mile away. You know, so... <clears throat> so others may not be able to, to tell. But look at this person. Look at this person, guys. This is a boy. This is a 13-year-old boy who is made to be a girl. Look. This is a boy, guys. I can't make it up. Um, my spirit guys told me that Melissa was an orphan from birth. Um, um, and, and, you know, she, she was handled, she was controlled, um, she was programmed by the Chinese government, like I, you know, already told you all that. Melissa also was a sex slave for the Chinese government in a part of a prostitution ring. Okay, guys, that concludes the spirit reading for Melissa Few and Amber Ayaz. Okay, um, the tarot is pretty much as follows, okay? So, um, first of all, you have this King of Swords here. This is an individual who is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, okay? This is the person who made the decision for Melissa to be killed, okay? Um, this is the decision that he made was told to the mother, this empress. The, the, the plain, the acting mother, Amber, I.S., would be the empress, okay? The mother figure handler, okay? To, to, um, and you see you have the death card there next to her. She was told that the decision was made by this king of swords for her to kill, um, little, um, to kill Melissa, okay? And it was because of all the burdens that, that she was having to endure with this with Melissa because the ten of uh, the ten of uh, wands here talks about have you know a heavy load um having a lot of burdens a lot of, to deal with a lot of stress that she was having to endure with um you know Melissa or whatever because the simple fact that she was a sex slave and things like that um she probably you know it, it a lot of times when girls are sexually abused they become very promiscuous okay um, and it's like, it, it, boys too, period, whether girl or boy, when you're sexually abused, especially from, you know, a child on up, um, your trauma, uh, what the very thing that caused your trauma, your pain, your whatever is, uh, is, is, is what you almost embrace because it's what you know. So this individual became a very, um, very um, promiscuous and started doing things on their own um, that the Chinese government, the, not the, her handler nor the Chinese government wanted her to do because that's not what she, that's not what her assignment was, that's not what her mission was. So um, I clarify these um, these cards. So to clarify the King of Swords, we have the Emperor here. This is how I know this is a person who is a father figure, somebody who is high up in power, somebody who's in authority. Um, and as you can see, you see this is an older man. You see how he's got that white hair, that long white beard. This is somebody who is very, like, highly, highly knowledgeable, okay? Um, and, and very, you know, very much in power of all things. Um, to clarify the two of swords here, we have the world, okay? This is something, this is about the decision that was made. It brought a situation to a completion, an ending, okay? It was over with this, this cycle had ended, Okay? To clarify the 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 empress, we have the four of cups. Remember when I told you Amber Is um, called this individual in China and told them about the the burdens, the problems, the issues that they were having with Melissa. Melissa, she was basically crying over spilled milk, and so this is the reason why this this emperor, this king of swords, had to make the decision for her to tell her what to do, and that's what she went through with. To clarify the death card, um, the ending of something, the rebirth of something. This is where we get the page of cups. This is uh, Melissa, and if you can see on this card, it shows a young boy. I'm telling you, Melissa is actually a boy who was transformed to look like and to be a female. See that page of cups? You see how this is a young boy here? That Melissa is actually a boy. And to clarify the, the, the ten of wands, the burdens, the, the problem, the issue with Melissa was because of this 
Three of Cups is the third party situation. This is this is um, the Three of Cups talks about a reunion, a gathering, a get together. In a traditional tarot deck and another tarot deck, you usually see three people that's got the Three Cups up and they're celebrating their children. This the the burden was because of this threesome that uh, uh, Amber Is caught Melissa having. Melissa was having a threesome with these two black guys, and it, it severely, guys, severely pissed off Amber Is to the point where she had to she had to call, um, you know, China. This the you know their their leader in in China who basically told her what to do. Okay, so let me see. I'm going to do. The extra message is here. I have the hidden truth here, and then I have the um, the crime oracle cards here as well. Okay, guys. Okay, first card we have here is a closer observation of. Oh, hold on. I put them in the wrong way. Hold on, just a minute, guys. Don't stop the. It goes like this. Okay. The first card we have here is surveillance cameras may provide important clues. Remember I told you Amber Is, um, after she dismembered Melissa's body, she put her in the suitcase and she rolled it out to the dumpster and threw it in the dumpster. Most apartment complexes have um, like cameras or surveillance or something like that. Um, um, this would be for authorities, good for authorities to know. There's some type of surveillance somewhere that um, probably shows Amber Is uh, Amber Is throwing out um, that 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 suitcase that had Melissa um, fused body in it. Okay. The next card we have here is victim engaged in unusual behavior prior to the crime. The unusual behavior was the threesome. It says the victim engaged in unusual behavior prior to the crime. She was caught having this threesome with two black guys. Okay. Next here we have um, illegal activities played a role. So, so um, there, there was a lot of legal activities that's going on here where you look at the fact that Melissa was um, 13 and having this threesome with the guys. Um, I did specifically ask my spirit guys, were these like grown men? Were they like way older than um, Melissa or something like that? Um, I do feel like they wasn't too much older. They was like around the certain uh, round. I feel like they were around her age, but I feel like they were older than her. Just a little bit, okay? So, but uh, there was a lot of illegal activities, like murdering somebody is a legal activity as well. So, Spirit is coming through and saying that, you know, there was, you know, quite a bit of illegal activity that played a role in what, what went on here. But, um, specifically, the fact that, you know, she... Not only was, you know, she, she was caught in this threesome, but the murder of her happened and everything. So, it's all illegal activity, okay? Um, also here, my, uh-oh, the spirit guys are coming through and saying, a friend knows something. So, I believe one of these, one or both of these individuals may be somebody that Melissa went to school with or from the neighborhood or something knows what happened, what took place, knows more about the situation. Maybe the, the individuals who, you know, she was having the threesome with know more about this situation and authorities don't know these individuals or know it would be good for the authorities to like um, find out who Melissa's friends was at school, who she hung out around, uh, like around their apartment complex or somebody. But Spirit is saying that there is a friend that knows something a friend of um melissa that knows something you know that they have not come forward and said to um the police okay and last but not least here we have a closer observation of the victim's living space may provide clues so um you know there had to be a lot of blood spatter when you bludgeon somebody to death you know and she dismembered the body so there could be you know dried blood and different things and the cracks and crevices um but you know there still could be clues there where they once lived 
Um, but from my understanding, Amber I has moved because she's living with um, this Chinese couple now. So, um, but Spirit is saying a closer observation at the victim's living space may provide um, clues to what happened to Melissa. Um, and like I said, this happened in 2019. So, you know, if Amber Ayas moved out of the residence, you know, the, the maintenance crew or squad probably came in and like deep cleaned the place and all kinds of stuff to, you know, get it ready for another tenant to rent out or whatever. So, you know, but considering the fact that, that, you know, the spirit sent those messages out with that it could be something that's still there it might be a small insignificant something but it could be a major clue that you need that you know pertaining to this case because you know not everybody clean as good so it, it is possible that there could be um a spot that was missing you know maybe they didn't clean the carpet maybe her blood soaked through the carpet and a lot of times um with murder scenes like even if there was blood spilled on the carpet, you cleaned the top of the carpet, the blood, you know, um, you know, sunk into the, the bottom of the carpet. So if that carpet was pulled up, it's probably like huge blood spatter, you know, up under that carpet or in the cracks in the crevices of the carpet or along a windowsill or, you know, anywhere that probably, you know, just small areas that could have easily gotten overlooked. Okay. So, um, the hidden truth in this oracle, um, the hidden truth oracle, excuse me, I'm pertaining to this reading. Somebody is saying, I want to be more than friends. So somebody that, that, um, Melissa was messing with wanted to be more than friends with her. This is probably the reason why she was involved with the threesome anyway. I kind of feel like, you know, Melissa was a little promiscuous or whatever, um, because of her circumstance, but at the same time, um, the, the, the people, the, the other two guys that she was messing around with, you know, were like, they wanted to be more than friends with her. So they were trying to have sex with her. And, you know, she kind of went along with it. But somebody who is used to being sexually abused and different things in that way, it probably didn't come. It wasn't abnormal for her to, you know, for somebody to want her sexually or something like that. The next message we have here is, I hope you can forgive me one day. So I feel like this is Amber Ayaz, um coming through, um, you know, thinking this, that, you know, she may feel bad or sad at the fact that she had to kill Melissa. But after she called, you know, their 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 main man handler in, in China who, you know, ordered her that she needed to do this because, you know, it was like, you know, breaking oath or something that you know she had to go ahead and go along with it otherwise she would have been taken out by somebody probably um for not following orders um but uh, you know it may be a part of her that kind of feels sad and that she had to do this or because she did this so the next message i have here is my life is not together as it seems so I feel like this is for Melissa Few, okay? So on the outside, it seemed like that she was just a little teenage girl or whatever. But, you know, Spirit is bringing this message through for Melissa because her life wasn't as together as it seemed. She was being paraded around like she was a girl and, in fact, she was a boy. This was something that was forced upon her. Um, you know, others made her be this way and things like that or whatever so it may have seemed like you know she probably was a very good student and smart and everything um sorry guys my cat is like doing weird stuff um or whatever and and so on the outside looking in it probably just seemed like oh she was a regular teenager went to school did her work this that and the other and people on the outside looking in had no clue no idea as to what this person was going through and dealing with and what was happening in that person's life okay the next message we have here the timing just wasn't right for us i feel like this is pertaining to the the threesome situation that they had like you know i i i, I feel like just some Young folks got together and, and was doing something or whatever, and they ended up getting caught um, or whatever. And so somebody's feeling like the timing wasn't right for, you know, them to do what they did, okay? Um, 
the next message we have have here is I know I crossed the line with you so um, somebody in the situation pertaining to Melissa this also can be pertaining to the threesome situation that um, these individuals may be feeling sad like they crossed the line with Melissa I mean she's gone missing since this happened and everything so it's probably weighing on them heavily like what happened to her and, and different things like that or whatever especially getting caught um, by Melissa's supposed mother or whatever and in them messing around or whatever and, and her being very furious about it um, so you know the other individuals involved in the situation um, may be feeling some kind of guilt uh, pertaining to Amber's uh, disappearance and what happened to her and what went on with them prior to you know, uh, Melissa going missing and all these things or whatever. I can't say for certain if the individuals that, you know, she was messing around with knows that, that she was murdered or something. But they surely know that she disappeared because they haven't seen her again. And somebody is saying, I remember every detail of that day. So this could literally be anybody involved. This could be Amber Ayas catching them, uh, you know, in this sexual act in this threesome this could be um the individuals that she was in the threesome with but somebody is reminiscing and remembering every detail of that day and what happened and what actually went down okay okay so we're going to jump into some extra messages here um from spirit guys Give me just a second. So the first message from Spirit we have here is bad vibes all around. So um, there were definitely some bad vibes um, in their household um, that made Amber Ayas like very upset, like furious upset, like mad as hell. And I mean, you see that when with the next card here that says fiery anger okay so she was like mad as hell at melissa that she just like totally wigged out like she beat melissa in the head with a freaking cast iron skillet okay if that's not somebody that's mad i don't know what the heck is but like she totally wigged out on her there was so much sadness around um the situation uh you know melissa and it's Itself, herself was probably, uh, you know, saddened by the situation and the lifestyle that they were in. Also, excuse me, also saddened of the situation occurring in, in the first place. Um, maybe even some sadness on the part of Amber Is for even, you know, for this going on and her to even have to stoop to the level of having to take her out or kill her or whatever. But these people who are in, you know, are sellouts. To these powers that be, like literally, damn near everything they do, they're following orders, and they have to, you know, or something awful will happen to them. And then here we go. We have satanic secret or, or satanic sellouts. Okay, so this talks about secret societies. This talks about blood sacrifices. This talk about people who are connected to the occult, and th these these individuals are the very ones who made the decision. For Amber Is to take out Melissa, okay, and this is what they were they were connected to. Next here we have um, pure evil. Um, this is demons, death, spirits, wickedness, the devil. Okay, there was pure evil within this situation. Um, you know, from those of them that they were sold out to to the very situation that took place and what happened. Um, and here we have family disloyalty and betrayal. And if you notice at the top here, it says no kin of mine, no friend of mine. So, um, this is clearly message is coming through from spirit to say that this Amber Ayas was not in fact Melissa's mother. She was Melissa's handler. Okay. This, this person was not any kin or relations to Melissa. But there was a very, there was a lot of disloyalty and betrayal within the situation. There was jealousy and envy. There was hate. And, you know, and it, it resulted to Melissa losing her life. Okay, the next spirit messages we have here is selling ass for, for the devil. Okay, um, 
this clearly lets you know that they are connected to the satanic powers that be that they this just basically means um one being connected to a prostitution ring who are being sold um but a lot of people think um these individuals who are connected to these sex rings, these prostitution rings, these the cult and different things like that, that it's just like a free for all. You just kind of, you know, screw whoever you want to screw and make money. That's not what they wanted to use Melissa for. So that was the problem. And that was the ultimate reason why Melissa was taken out. Um, she was definitely being pimped out any darn way um, and had been trained to do so, but she wasn't supposed to. They did not want her to be with black guys. Next here we have lies and deceptions here. So there was a lot of lies and deceptions pertaining to their relationship, to their situation, um, as it relates to Melissa Few and um, Amber Ayaz here. Um, a lot of lies and deceptions around this entire situation um, you know, with their, the, the, the life that they lived as well as, um, you know, the things that took place thereafter, you know, when they disappeared and things. Next here we have a death. Okay. So we clearly know now that a death occurred. Melissa Few was the one who was murdered in cold blood. Um, next here we have the rabbit hole goes deep. So, you know, this is something you hear people say quite often. Um, it's like a, a term from Alice in Wonderland um, when talking about the rabbit hole or whatever. But a lot of people use this term in speaking of the Matrix and a lot of sinister, um, evil, wicked, creepy, freaky things that goes on in this world. You know, the rabbit hole goes real deep, okay? There is all kinds of things that goes on in this world that... Uh, a lot of people are unaware of, okay? I'm talking about some very creepy, um, sinister things that, that is happening and that's going on in this world. And, you know, th this is, this coming up just lets you know that, you know, there were, there were things much deeper happening and going on pertaining to the situation around Melissa Few. Next here we have your father your father never loved you okay so um like i told you all melissa was an orphan she didn't have any real parents melissa was an orphan from birth um and you know was 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 taken in by uh chinese authorities chinese government chinese um individuals in power and um like i said was trained to be a sex slave was trained to be a spy and so forth um this just comes through to let you know that um melissa had no real family like that she had no real father this um this 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 individual this father figure in power and authority uh, and chinese authority may have uh, played that you know that fatherly type of role um, but she really didn't have any family like that. Okay. Next year we have blood sacrifice. So clearly Melissa, a few was a blood sacrifice. Her life was, you know, the decision was made to take her life, um, because of the situation, because, um, you know, they looked at it like, you know, th that wasn't her mission. That wasn't what she was here for and here to do. Um, well with those people at least, and they took a high disliking to Melissa messing around with black guys, okay? Because um, obviously they're totally prejudiced against such a thing, but whatever. So next we have addictions here, sex addictions, toxicity, drugs, porn, alcohol, gambling. Um, there's a lot of addictions uh, pertaining to this situation. Um, predominantly around sex addictions and things like that or whatever because you know that's what she was trained and programmed to be about and to do and like I said more often than not when people are um, sexually abused um, and during that trauma turns into um, being promiscuous on your own um, and I believe that's the situation. That's what, what, what took place. That's what happened. Why? And this, and, and she was living life on the edge. So, you know, even though she had this, you know, this, she grew up this way with this type of lifestyle, she began to, to kind of be careless and reckless and, you know, live on the edge, especially when they came to the United States. 
and seeing new people, meeting new people, being around other people and, you know, maybe was persuaded into being, um, you know, and doing certain things, but also very promiscuous on her own. And, um, and she occurred some type of sexual addictions and things because of the things that she had endured and gone through. Next here we have murder. So we clearly know that the death of M Melissa was because she was murdered, okay? Next here we have family secrets. Shh. So that family secrets shush is basically saying because nobody in the United States, I guarantee you knew that they were not actually real family. I guarantee you nobody in the United States knew that they were actually spies um, sent in by the Chinese government to be spies in the United States. Um, they probably were not aware that um, Melissa uh, was a sex slave, nor Amber Ayas was her handler as well. And her mission specifically was for, was for her to be sent in to... Um, lure in white men or individuals in power and almost like a set up blackmail type of, of way just to get um, intel or data on people in the United States and this is the reason why I made my disclaimer at the beginning like it so frustrates me because a lot of times I can look at these politicians and who they work with and who they're around and who they deal with or whatever and I could just call it I just call it I don't need no card I don't, I don't need to do no reading or nothing I can tell them individuals who are spies who are snakes in their own swamps i sort of if i if, if you know if i did that type of work i work for these people on their freaking payroll ain't no way ain't no way i don't care if they were celebrities i don't care if they work for the government i would be able to tell them who the snakes were in their swamp i can spot them from a mile a freaking way i'm telling you i i see it all the freaking time all the freaking time and I just shake my head because it's a trip because a lot of the people who are in power no matter what level they think that they are cool and they're okay because you mixing and mingling with other people who you know sold out to so the same thing that you sold out and shake and move kind of like you do or whatever but it's, 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 it's just like an undercover okay you ever seen an undercover officer the ones who's like deep, deep undercover and nobody even knows that they're officer and they may play the role like they're a gang member or a gangster. They play, they, you know, they hang out with people that's getting high. They get high with them. Or you ever seen the deep undercover prostitutes and things like that that do these things and set people up so they play the role like they're a prostitute and come out. So, you know, like, I'm talking about deep fakes. You understand me? So, um... You, they have a lot of people, a lot of snakes in their own swamps who walk like they walk, talk like they talk, a part of what they're part of, do what they do. But they was literally, they literally do so for the purposes of setting them up and blackmailing them later and collecting intel and data on them. And it's like they, these people in power are oblivious to that, and I can see it clearly. But it's like they don't, and I'm like, but y'all are supposed to be smarter than me. Y'all, y'all are one with the damn degrees and stuff. Like, what the hell? You know, y'all are the ones that are supposed to be illuminated. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm illuminated too. But it's a different type of light. Maybe they're, you know, I don't, you know, I, I'm not going to say that. But it's crazy. Because I see it all the time. I see it all the time. Just like, just like with, with, with celebrities, I get so frustrated. Especially with celebrities. Not necessarily with the celebrities, but the people that's been around the celebrities. And I don't understand why the celebrities do not know. Um... Maybe they don't pick their own team or whatever, but everybody, if, if a celebrity just look around from the people that they, that is their entourage, the people that are supposed to be their friends, the people that's around them all the time, every one of those individuals is on your payroll, okay? They ain't that loyal to you, you understand? And if you fell off today, you should just test your staff and come and say, hey guys, I lost everything, you know, I can't pay you, or what, and see what they do. See how fast they leave your ass. Because these people be having straight up snakes around them and, you know, these yes men that, you know, say or do whatever as long as they can get whatever they can, they think they can get up out of you or whatever. But they either secretly working against you behind your back or uh, secretly, you know, setting you up to take you out or rob you or, or, or you know, whatever. 
blackmail you, set you up in some type of way. But a lot of these people in power, they think they'd be good because they shake and move with people who might do the same things that they do or sold out to the same things that they sold out to or a part of the same things that they're a part of. But I'm telling you, it's deep fakes out here. There are spies out here who setting people up left and freaking right, man. I like seriously. Next, we have plots, plans, and schemes, okay? So, um, this is a situation, like, from the guy, from the, the, the individual high up in authority and in power um, who gave uh, Amber I.S. the orders to go ahead with the hit. Um, you know, th th this was a plot. This was a plan. This was a scheme that was put together, and, and it was decided on how to do it and how to get it done and, and, and everything. So, yeah, that was just all around bad situation there. Okay, so we have toxic family members here. So I feel like this could come through for um, Amber Ayas as well. Um, she appeared, she was playing the role as a family member. But like I said, Melissa didn't have any real family members, okay? Because she was an orphan. So the individuals that played like her family was really nothing more than handlers, okay? But because of this toxic individual, they're the ones who caused this, this injury. This injury um, to Melissa is what caused her death. And the death was actually an intentional murder. Okay? So we've got an injury, death, and murder in, in these messages here alone. Okay? Next here we have sick Satanists. Okay? So I already told you, these individuals are sold out to the Satanic powers that be. A lot of people hear Satanic powers that be or powers that be or, you know, looms, things like Illuminati and all other kinds of things like that and, and totally think that this is a United States thing. No, baby, this is all around the world. All around the world. Okay? You have a higher echelon of government and individuals in power, elites um, who are in the occult, who are into Satanism. And all kinds of things. This is all around the world. It's not just in the United States things. Okay. Next we have satanic powers that be. So we had we just had six satanists. We have satanic powers that be. I'm telling you. The powers that be. The Chinese powers that be. Are satanists. And they are the ones. That individual is the one who made the decision. To for or for um, Melissa to be sacrificed. Okay, like I told you, Melissa was an orphan. This says treated like an orphan. She was treated like an orphan because she was an orphan. Okay. Next we have prostitution ring. I told you Melissa was part of, a, of the Chinese prostitution ring who was sex trafficked into the United States. For specifically those reasons. But they absolutely positively did not want her with black boys or black men. Period. And that was like breaking oath for them. And they murdered her. Here we have setup gone wrong. Clearly the setup went wrong, okay? Because, you know, they, they literally took her out. I believe um, there could have been a plan to seriously injure her, beat her or whatever, and then, you know, um, traffic her out to somewhere else or either back home or something. But um, Amber went too far and literally cracked. Melissa's skull open. And the reason why I say that is because I got this closer to the end of the thing. Human sex trafficking. I believe Amber was ordered to to punish her. To severely punish her and beat her. But it went too far with a setup going wrong. It went too far. I believe she was supposed to punish her. She was supposed to beat her. And she was going to be trafficked out to somewhere else. Um, but that didn't happen. Because Amber went too far and she ended up killing the girl. Um, next we have Wicked Witches, okay? So, we, we already seen the Satanist card. We already seen the Satanic powers that be. Um, witches. Witches, warlocks, and demons, they're all over the world as well. This is not a United States thing. These individuals are all over the world um, who partake in witchcraft, sorcery, black magic, voodoo, um, hoodoo, hexes, curses, spells, all the things that they do, Okay? And in Chinese, the Chinese people know some some shit when it comes to that too. Okay, they know a lot. Even healing, holistic healing techniques, and all kinds of things. Like I, I kid you not. Like, um, the, 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 the these people know how to hit you, you know, puncture you with two fingers in a certain area and completely paralyze your entire body. You understand me? <laughs> these people can like hit you in in a, in a certain area and crack. Every bone 
in a certain area. You understand what I'm saying? They can these individuals can severely torture a person and also have the healing techniques to heal them as if it never even happened. And they do this a lot with their training. When they, they, they're training their certain individuals in, in different uh, 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 skills and forms of different things or whatever, they are oftentimes injured several times throughout their training, especially those of them who are a part of, you know, um, these sex rings and different things. They get hurt in all kind of ways. They know how to heal you. And from the, like, holistic type of healing. Okay? And when the healing process is done, it's almost as if, the injury didn't even occur. But um, so let's here we have soulless beings. These people are clearly soulless beings. They're, they they seem to be without a, 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 a heart, a mind, a soul, or anything. They're not sympathetic, empathetic, um, uh, you know, any real emotions and or feelings um, pertaining to certain things here. Okay, so the first Earthcraft card we have here is prayer. Okay, so um, I feel like you see this person, this person looks kind of, you know, mm, almost sinister, kind of wicked in a way. I feel like that there was some type of um, death ritual, prayer, uh, chanting, spells, casting um, for this to, to, to proceed to go on before and or after this situation. Which is the reason that this card comes up. My spirit guys also, will the angels come through and say within the next few weeks. So the angels are, are saying within the next few weeks, I feel like that they may locate, the authorities may locate and find Amber Ayaz. Okay. Um, because I, I feel like it'll, it's, it's, it's been a, it's been a long time in the way um, Melissa was disposed of. It's, it'll be virtually impossible to find Melissa's body, but the angels are coming through and saying within the next few weeks um, that that um, something is going to shake or move pertaining to the situation in this case, and I believe they're going to be able to track down and locate Amber Is. Hopefully, with the information that I have given them, uh, with the people that she's living with, to the to where she's working, and how she's changed her identity and what she's changed her name to, um, and everything. Yeah. So within the next few weeks, the angels are saying, and then the fairies are saying, lost and found, okay? And it says, what was once lost is about to be found. So yeah, Amber Eyes is going to be found. Thanks to, thanks to the lost and found fairy, sometimes she can help us find things we never realized were lost. Um, yeah, Amber Eyes is going to be found. She is going to be located, and the angels are saying, within the next few weeks here, here I have the High Priestess, okay? This comes from Archangel Han uh, Hanel, okay? And it says, powerful psychic insights, reflection, and meditation that provides valuable information. Be patient. I feel like this more so came through from me. Um, the High Priestess talks about secret knowledge, secret information um, uh, uh, pertaining uh, to... Well, secret information can be a lot of different things pertaining to the cult, pertaining to just hidden knowledge of things. And I provided you information that was technically hidden knowledge that wasn't supposed to be known. Um, and um, I did so because I am an American. And I did so to um, inform my American government that we have freaking spies in the United States and what they're doing. So, I don't care if the Chinese government don't like it. Um, so, yeah. This came through. I am the high priestess. Okay? So, I just gave you the secret knowledge that I have. Okay? Here, we have Storm. Number 44, Storm. 44 going to an 8. With Storm here, it says, every, every hurricane comes to an end. Every hurricane comes to an end okay and so this situation definitely caused a hurricane of event okay but this hurricane is about to come to an end honey um hopefully with the information that i gave you y'all forgot about these extra messages here okay so we have low down and dirty 
yeah, of course, there was a lot of low down and dirty doings that was going on with this situation. You can't trust nobody. Clearly, you can't trust nobody. She couldn't even, Melissa couldn't even trust her own handler, which was Amber Ayas, okay? Um, protect yourself. And, uh, Melissa needed protection. She needed pr to protect herself. She may have tried to protect herself, but ultimately, she wasn't able to, okay? Ultimate betrayal here. She was clearly portrayed by her handlers who ended up taking her life. For for what? The one thing that you trained her to do? To be a sex slave? So you thought it'd be a good idea to kill her? Not because she was having sex, because she was with black guys? That's why you killed her, jackass. Broken hearted. So clearly, Melissa was broken hearted when being attacked this way and ultimately... This broken heart led her to lose her life. Next we have here, you can't trust this person. So Amber Ayes was not to be trusted, okay? She was a handler of these, sat of these satanic powers that be, of the Chinese satanic powers that be, okay? She was not to be trusted. Um, she is being controlled in things as well, which is why she had to get orders. Call and get orders. Um, here we have deadbeat fathers. So this individual who gave her this information, this knowledge, who made this decision um, um, for her to make, um, it, uh, the spirit is saying that this person is just like basically no good um, type of individual, very cutthroat individual who do not care. When he wants to cut you loose, when he wants to let you go, when he wants to take you out, that's exactly what happens because he he's like, he... You know, he's the big bad wolf in China who's in charge, obviously. Um, next, we have they're spying on you 24-7. Beware. So, I believe that um, Melissa was being spied on and watched at all times, okay? The spy being spied on. Because she was under that much control, okay? So, this is also uh, uh, possibly how they were aware of what she, she was doing. I would not be surprised if she was chipped. I would not, yes. Spirit is saying yes. Spirit is saying yes. Melissa was chipped. Ms. Melissa had some type of, um, something like a, <clears throat> a RFID chip in her or um, some type of chip. Some type of chip that was, was in Melissa um, to track and trace her at all times, okay? This, uh, this, this is how they were aware of what she was doing and who she was doing it with. Okay, and and y'all need to know something with those chips and things like that. Um, no matter where she was, what she was doing, and who she was doing it with, this is how they were able to collect the data on it. She may have been she may have been you being used as a sex slave and a spy, but they don't totally rely on the sex slave and a spy. Like some they do, but others who like have chips in them, those chips are able to record everything that they see, everything that they do, everything that they experience, everything they were that they go through. I'm telling you. So next we have no good in the hood. So clearly, this just basically means that there was no good um, happenings going on, um, you know, in their neighborhood, in their area, um, within their life. Um, the things that they were personally connected to as well as like, you know, the neighborhood period that they lived in. Because, I mean, Melissa was pretty young to be having threesomes anyway. You understand? So, you know, clearly the other guys that, you know, was trying to have this threesome with her, you know, was just basically all about getting her rocks off, all about trying to screw her and, and probably found Melissa to be easy or something. And, you know, otherwise, you know, I can see if there's just one guy and they call themselves liking each other and, you know, messing around or whatever. But considering the fact it was two guys at one time trying to mess around with Melissa is, yeah. So next we have here, um, your distant fam full of scams. Okay, so I believe this came out because this this is pertaining to the individuals um, back in China who is still controlling, you know, their every move, controlling their life, um, controlling their goings on. Um, but the most high is coming through and saying they're full of scams. And so, you know, this whole situation just was kind of set up. That day there was a lot of fighting, fussing, and cussing that went on because there was so much anger, there was so much fury, um, 
uh, are pertaining to this situation and Amber just kind of wigged out on, on, on Melissa and, and, and like totally, you know, took this girl out. Um, here we have, <clears throat> he or she is lying to you. So, um, I, I'm not sure if, if Amber, um, you know, told, told Melissa that, you know, these guys that she was interested in, you know, was lying to her just to, you know, have sex with her or whatever like that or whatever. But, um, somebody or, or either Amber, I as herself was doing a bunch of lying and, and misleading Melissa in different ways, guys. So, um, yeah, this reading was like overwhelming. It was very interesting. I'm like, oh my gosh, honey. Oh my gosh. So I do hope that the information that I gave provided um, you all the clarity that you all need to, to, to figure this case out. Um, and what went on pertaining to um, Amber. Or excuse me, both to them both pertaining to Melissa, um, a few as well as Amber Ias. Okay, um, yeah, y'all gotta be careful. And I'm speaking to those of you who are in power, those of you who are celebrities. I know y'all are like, you know, y'all high level, and you're probably looking at me like, who are you? You just like this, this nobody that's down in, you know, Noah's Ark in Arkansas. Um, to tell us something, but look, y'all got a bunch of snakes around y'all, okay? And this is the reason why y'all have so much scandals and different things that come out at different times. It's all about blackmail. It's all about getting over on somebody. And maybe sometimes y'all need somebody. It's not about me thinking I'm better than somebody because I don't even think like that. But sometimes maybe somebody needs to know that, you know, uh, you know, have somebody on the outside to tell you something sometimes like, you know, y'all need to watch y'all surroundings in the company. Y'all keep too. You understand? Because, you know, the, the people closest to you all, a lot of times it's the ones that screwing y'all over or whatever. But this is the reason why you see so many scandals happen. Have y'all not noticed that it, like clockwork, it never fails. Every time we have a representative who is running for a higher position, um, especially president, there's always these, these, these random individuals that fall out the sky they just come out just run out the woods and have the the most radical stories about these individuals that nobody has ever heard but it's not into their campaigning for a new position and that that you know some pro ho come out and like oh yeah you know i slept with him back when in such and such such and such and you know they're doing their interviews and they're writing tell-all books and you know, you know, all kind of this and that and the other get leaked on the person. And like nobody knows any of this stuff. And it didn't happen umpteen years ago. But for some reason, but it's because they have been paid to say so. So this is what I mean by snakes in your swamp. And so then these individuals come out with their stories and different things like that or whatever. But of course, you know, they were paid to come out and say these things. But I'm, I'm telling y'all, but it, a lot of this stuff happens. I'm saying this because... Y'all mix and mingle with the, the people that y'all mix and mingle with. You think you good because you're dealing with other people who are sold out to the, the, the satanic powers that be. Who that took the oath, who down with the cabal, who may be initiated witches, who may be satanists too and things like that. So y'all think y'all all good. But, you know, you, you're talking about snakes amongst snakes. Okay? So you got anaconda snakes and you might you have little python freaking snakes. You understand me? And although the anaconda snakes... Can, can eat the hell up out of a little python snake or a little grass snake or something like that. It won't keep those little snakes from trying to bite the big anaconda snake. You understand what I'm saying? So that's a lot of what you see going on in different situations. But besides that, y'all need, need to be vigilant. Y'all need to be aware, okay? Don't think that these people is coming over here because, you know, this is a land of opportunity and they just looking for some new opportunity to make more money and different things like that or whatever. A lot of these people come over here with money. You understand me? They come over here and open businesses and everything like that or whatever. They already have money. Many of them come from money. And, and you give them more money when they come over here. But if you think they over here just running their little businesses and minding their own little business, no, baby. They come from somewhere else. They are collecting United States citizens' data. They are watching everything the that is going on within the government and everything. And they are relaying the messages back to where they come from. Because that's who they are dedicated to. That's who they are loyal to. Not the United States, baby. 
You can't get somebody from the, you might be willing, open and willing to allow anybody to come into the United States illegally. But what you cannot ex assume is that a person that is not, is that's not from the United States is going to be loyal to the United States. That is the point. Anyway, guys, like I said, I hope this information um, has helped someone who needed clarifi uh, excuse me, clarification um, pertaining to this situation. I hope this information helped the, um, the authorities and different things to be able to, um, to solve this, this case um, and everything. Um, I, I am very, I, I feel very saddened by what happened to Melissa Few. I really do. Um, but perhaps this, this situation would open the eyes to our government, to authorities and in, in power because I feel like way too much time and effort, money, resources, um, and, and, and technology and things is used to terrorize and stalk and harass and illegally invade and violate our own American citizens when we have spies right here in the United States of America who is collecting our data, collecting our information, spying on us and sending that information back to their hometown. And, you know, and, and those things need to be, need to be, um, known and, and kept up on as well okay so um i wish each and every last one of you peace love and light thank you for listening thank you for watching if you wouldn't mind please like share and subscribe um if there's anybody who would like to get in contact with me um for any missing mystery ideas murder mystery ideas or any specific topics that you would like for me to speak on or to do a reading on, you can email me at tiffanyziggler60 at gmail.com. If you feel compelled, if the Most High God um, uh, enables you to or leads you to do so, and you would like to donate to the channel, it would be greatly appreciated. And you can do so through Cash App, which is um, a dollar sign Tiff Diamond 36. I thank you with every fiber of my being and all donations and proceeds will go to helping this channel to grow and to glow and to um and, and, and to help me to help and heal more people through this channel all across the world, no matter who is for. Um so I thank you in advance, okay? Um as I always tell you all, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your babies, okay? As I always, always say, this is a very wicked, wicked world that we live in, whether you know it or not. There is evil that is lurking around every corner. You all need to stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared. Because if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready, baby. So, until the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste.